Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about something very important. Then is uh, what happens when you leave uh, the diesel in the coolant for too long. In this case, this 2015 Cascadia was prepared. Um, injector coppers, the injector seals, the injector cups were actually replaced, but they didn't clean the system. So that left diesel inside, a lot of diesel inside, and as consequence, th there are going to be many consequences with that. So at this moment, I am removing the water pump because the water pump also suffered a damage because of diesel on the coolant. But diesel can actually destroy seals and many other plastics that are not meant to be with diesel. So, in this case, we have a damage uh, on hoses, water pump, coolant tank, and at least there is no damage on the interior components of the engine, which is good. I'm just finishing to remove this water pump so I can show you what happened here. This smells like diesel because it has diesel all over. Um, diesel went in and destroyed the seals of the water pump, and you can see it is leaking. See, fluid. It is leaking from here. It doesn't supposed to leak anything from here, and that that much happened because of uh, coolant contamination. Um, the, in this case, fuel because the fuel is stronger. When the oil happen, oil contamination happen, is in a, uh, we can say, in a lower, uh, the damage is, is lower. When fuel happens, the damage is faster. And also, I have the coolant tank. And uh, this, you can see how this one looks. It's because there used to be fuel in here and fuel destroy everything in here. This one is the, the seal, I mean the coolant level sensor, and this one is stuck because, see, this one is completely stuck. This is supposed to be very easy to remove, but it's stuck because the fuel actually expanded the plastic so much, then actually tied this thing so much, and it's super hard to remove. Now it's coming out. I want to show you how this one looks from the inside. Okay, finally. See? It's completely broken. See? See all this stuff is fuel. Fuel then was still inside the system. And that is the reason why it's very important. This is very important to clean the system every time you have problems with fuel contamination or oil contamination. So uh, in this case, we have, I'm showing you this video for the only reason then is then if you don't clean your fuel, I mean the, your coolant tank or your coolant system after you have contamination on your engine and it doesn't have to be specifically DD15 engines. It can be Volvo, it can be a Cummins ISX, it can be a Packard or Max Force engines. And if you don't clean that area, this is going to provoke, it's going to uh, let you spend more money because this money is going to have, uh, this uh, fuel is going to uh, uh, affect different components that are going to cost a lot of money. In this case, we also have a coolant leak that is coming from underneath here. There's two hoses that go here for the sleeper, and these ones are damaged too. So, if for any reason you get coolant contamination, either oil or fuel, be sure to clean it after the repair. If you repair your uh, system and uh, you didn't clean it, be sure to clean it after. Don't wait for that because 
this is going to affect you it's going to make you spend more money in this case we are 2021 right now and um, it's going to be august and this water pump costs around 2500 dollars just this water pump and they is super hard to get them they're super expensive and you cannot get them that easy so um it's a cause then didn't happen didn't didn't mean uh didn't need to be happening because we can see here when this water pump was replaced see 06 2020 20. so last year this water pump was replaced last year and it got already damaged because of uh, fuel contamination so what they spent like 700 dollars before because this was, was the price of the water pump and now they are going to spend 800 dollars because they already brought they they brought the water pump and uh and here is the water pump this is a rebuilt water pump thing is very flimsy very crappy we can say because we can see one sensor is new the other one is not and it looks like everything is the same so it looks like they just made two they took two water pumps and put them together so uh, that's the reason why it, it is very important to uh, uh, pay attention to this because this expense should be avoided if you do the recommendations thing is cleaning you um, coolant system after you have problems with it like oil or coolant or fuel contamination in it but anyway uh, this is just a regular video just to show you why it's important to do it uh, but uh, if you have questions about it just use the comment section below experiences you have about this topic you can use the comment section below or also if you have any type of recommendation for anybody uh, just use the comment section below that way you can actually help other people to understand why you have to do things and why you don't have to do things to prevent major problems with these machines and also contact me on instagram if you have any type of questions too about these machines uh, you can ask me anything about it you can tell me about what could be your concern and i'll try to answer as fast as i can um, if you want to send any kind of support to the channel check the description of the video i have details how to send support to the channel just be sure to like the video subscribe and thank you for watching